feel, and I have to empty the clip. That's the game, bro. That's the game. I, I don't trust. So you trapped trust like mentally, or you had a gun? Bro, you know what he means, bro. I don't know what he means. He I, mean, meant, I don't he know. Meant, I don't talk like that. He meant mentally. Mentally, mentally, yeah, mentally, mentally. Jeez, I'm going to hit y'all in a little. It's a pleasure to meet you, bro. Kai, Kai, Kai you, you can join Kai. What's the password to get in? What's the password? Hey, um, real quick, though. um, I do want to say this. Uh, XQ, I'm glad we're all getting along now without dick sucking, right? We're all getting along. We're all becoming friends. I love that. Yeah, we're all getting along. Yeah, I like that. Yep. All right, let me go. Uh, yeah, up, XQ. Man? I think it's really good that you and I are, are such good friends now. You're my, you're one of my top three friends on Twitter. Kai, you got the password oh, correct. Thank you, man. Can anyone guess what the password is? I'll say it. It's I'm not gonna dick say. writing. Yeah, something you're doing right now to me. You're on my dick. Why are you on my dick right now? Let me let me get Kai in here. Hold on a second. Um, hold on one second here. Yo, snag, you fat, bro. Hey, don't bro, make why fun are you of on it. my dick? Don't now you did, now you dig Ryan me, and All you right. black. Oh, 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 never mind. Whoa, yeah. guys, come on, seriously, man. <laughs> Bro, no, this guy's no, like no, a no. fucking uh, in real life fucking Discord bouncer. Every time something, something pops up, he starts fucking calming everybody down with some insults. Oh, he's talking, I about, like you, that he's he's talking about you, Shnaggy Hose. You talking about me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Felix, now you dig around me, bro. Don't do that. Please, hey, here leave he me comes. Alone, bro. Don't, 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 don't do that. There right. you go. Kai. The, the top fucking G. Love the content, man. I'm a big fucking fan. Oh, Kai, hold on. XQ might. Hold on. XQ might say you're dick riding. Hold on. Be careful, bro. He might say you're dick riding. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, I'm not dick riding, bro. I'm not dick riding, bro. It's not dick riding. It was called showing support, bro. Yeah, Come on, giving bro. Giving flowers. Thank you, The Kyle. fuck? Yeah. Nigga, nigga, I'm from New York City where they call everything dick riding. And that is not the fucking case. It is called showing support to another brother, man. Stop dick riding, SQC. Who's my dick riding? Yo, stop dick riding. Anyways, let me tell you something. Yo, first of all, first of all. Andrew, love the content. You're fucking amazing, dude. Like, everything that you do, your whole persona, your whole story. I went out my way to do my research just a little bit. Not a lot, but just yeah. a little bit. Kai, why is he on your uh, dick? Yo, yo. I ain't gonna why you, Yo, yo, yo. Andrew, Andrew. Why you? Andrew, Andrew. Wait, hold on. Wait, not Andrew. X Felix. Uh, Felix. Felix. X Felix. 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 Yeah, Felix. Yeah, yeah. Felix. Why you, why, why you on my dick? Why you on my dick? Why you on my dick? <laughs> bro, bro. Yo, why you my dick? Why you my dick? Giving more compliments than fucking TwitchCon attendees, motherfucker. Bro, I get, bro, but if I give you compliments, it's not dick riding, right? Bro, it's it's cool, no man. So, so, so to that justification, supporters that come to you and ask you or tell you how much they love the content, are they dick or are they telling you support? Bro, is this like make a wish? Are they dick riding you? Whoa, 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 whoa! Let me let me go ahead and say this, bro. Ask my question, Felix. Is your supporters dick riding you, or are they just simply showing you support? I show support is, is cool and all, you know. Uh, it, it, are they dick riding? Right. It's alright. That was that, that was pretty fun. It's about it's about the degree of it. It's about the degree. Oh, hey, Kai, I love him. The hair, the shirt, the tats, bro, the, the headset. The golf is looking good. I that appreciate guy. you. I'm glad I'm glad go. Hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. You on my dick. <laughs> you on my dick. You on the gango. You on the gango. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on. Okay, hold on. Felix, 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 it's not about you today, bro. It's about the top. Fucking it is about the top G. You feel what I'm saying? It's not about you. I love top G, bro. I'm glad you like him too, bro. No, I, I, I'm going to keep it a stack, bro. I'm kind of like, you know, I'm. Uh, it's an honor to uh, be in here. I wasn't here before, but I never got the chance to speak to you because I yeah. got off. I got off early. And uh, um, everything that you stand about, man, is pretty. It's like, how do you get to that mindset today, bro? Like, like, how do you? Are you obviously went through a whole lot of you know trials and tribulations to get there. So how did, did you fucking get there, man? Thank you, bro, man. It's it's good to meet you. It's good to meet you. And uh, yeah, man, life hasn't always been easy. And I think I'm a little bit older as well, right? I'm 35, and I think the things I'm saying they resonate with people. I think a lot of people agree with what I'm saying. Just no one else says it. I've managed to find a way to say it. So uh, I'm trying to represent for the men out here who who feel and think certain things, but they're not allowed to say them. So that's that's kind of what I'm doing. And uh, I get I, some people hate me, but the people who really understand, those who are about it, those who have lived enough of a life to understand I'm telling the truth, then then that's all that matters. Bro, bro, the top fucking D, bro. I mean G, the top <laughs> G, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo. Bro. Come on, Kai. Bro, chill, bro. 
Um, so, so what were you guys talking about before I got in here? I mean, you missed a little bit of a debate, and you know, people call me Dick Rider like every th- three seconds. But besides that, I'm glad that we have another people who love to show flowers and support. Okay, there's nothing wrong with showing love. There's not. And and, and, and yo, I love what you you know you said. XQ, if someone says, "Oh my God, XQC, I'm a big fan, bro. I love you. I love your content." Is that dick sucking? No, they love you. Good. Tru- truthfully, I'm a big fucking fan of XQC as well. I watch all your Minecraft uh simulator uh try to beat it in time and shit like that. I watch all that, bro. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, I watch them at night when you yell at you. Sometimes I see you yelling and whatnot. It's 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 smoothing. I yeah. like um seeing that I'm not the only one who yells at the computer talking to strangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a good transaction. Um, okay, trans- okay, I like that. Um, I would just talk, I would just talk about my chat about this topic. All right. Now I want to see how you feel. So I just seen a clip on TikTok where a girl says she deserves the world and everything from a guy because she has a pussy. You feel what I'm saying? They, she said that pussy makes the world oh, wait, go, wait. Kai, go are around. About, are you talking about Sneeko? No, 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 no. I just seen this random clip. I just seen a random TikTok. Mm. And and I kind of felt a way around that because it's like, I feel like it's a mutual mutual transaction when it comes to sex. You know, you get my dick and I get some pussy. So like, how do you, like, like what would y'all say about that? Like, you know? And I feel like uh, coming with the, the argument it seems like, yeah, um, you would you would need to have a, a poor understanding of the social dynamics. I feel like um, guys have to hunt harder to get uh, the counterparts in that regard. They have to hunt way harder than girls do. So it's a little bit like like a carrot and a stick type of thing. I think in my I think. Oh shit, Andrew. All right, should I go? Yeah, I was gonna say. Yep, I'll go. Right. So here we go. So women have an innate value. They're born with an innate value, and that innate value is effectively their pussy. Because they can reproduce. So women are always going to be important because they can reproduce. We're always going to need them to some degree. So even if women are unintelligent and stupid and boring, even ugly, at some point, someone's going to come along and go, yeah, but they have a pussy. We need that pussy to reproduce, right? That's why if you look at the genetics of humanity, since the dawn of human time, 98% of females have reproduced at some point, and they tracked it by the chromosomes, whereas less than 20% of men did. So plenty of men died without ever having offspring. They died in wars or whatever. Then plenty of kings had multiple wives, had multiple children. But every woman at some point ended up getting fucked because women have an innate value. Men are not born with innate value. We do not matter unless we make ourselves important. So it's, it's very different. We can't sit there and go, yeah, I have a dick, but nobody gives a shit. Andrew, real quick, just it's a quick question. You don't know how to explain because you're under... Um, do you believe that men should have the right to have multiple girlfriends slash wives? I think the people should be allowed to do whatever they decide is they want to do. If the women consent, then why shouldn't they be allowed to? Right. I don't. I mean, think, everybody good with that. I don't think it would be. Na- I don't think it would be natural for it to happen Wait, the other way around. Next to you, do. <laughs> that's crazy. Of course, of course, I agree. If you wanna, if you want, if that's but, something you want, and the person wants to, then what the fuck not? That's like that's like saying uh, dur- during sex, I want my partner to be wearing uh, a ski mask on. Right. If they like that and they want to wear it, then wh- who the fuck are we to tell them that that, that, that that's something that shouldn't happen? Correct. So, yeah, if, if I believe I, now the reason people get annoyed is because I think that it's not natural for it to happen the other way around. I'm not saying that people shouldn't be allowed to do it. I'm saying that it's not natural the same way as it would be with a man with multiple women, because like we were just dis- discussing since the dawn of human time, men have always had multiple women. That's why so few men reproduce compared to women. There was one guy who got 10 women pregnant, for example. That explains the disparity between females always re- reproducing and men always reproducing. Wow, that's so crazy. Females- Females, females are born with value. They are born with a value. And as a man, you're born with no value unless you make yourself important and then you become a valuable man. So what she's saying is I'm a, I have pussy, so I'm in, intrinsically valuable to a degree that's true. Does she deserve the world? Fuck no. Does, should, should men be out here simping over her just because she has a pussy? Fuck no. Will men do it? Yes, because pussy runs the world because men are desperate for it. But there's a bunch of pussy out there and no man should just be giving her everything she wants just because she exists. However, she does have an intrinsic value that men don't have. That there is a reason why it's women and children first on the lifeboat. There's a reason for that, and that's because their their life matters. If you talk about hundred women dying, people give a shit. If you talk about hundred men dying, it's happening right now in Ukraine. Nobody gives a fuck, and that's just the reality of the world. As a man, as a man, your life is not important. That's life. That's how okay. it goes. For men. Wow. Yeah, we're heading to like some severe black pill territory here, but yeah, I agree with most of that. It's, it's not even black. But yeah, I know what you mean saying it's black, but it's true. The men, men have always been the ones who are meant to die. We're supposed to be ones who go to war or, or whatever, or something bad happens to us. And is, society- there, is there an actual study without like war and like all this shit? Who, who lives longer? Is it females or males? Yeah. Women live longer. They do. But, but yeah, but it's, it's like that. Because men are stupid. I mean, we do dumb shit also. But, yeah. 
But I'm, I'm just talking saying about old age wise and health problems. Who has more health problems slash, you know? Yeah, women live longer than men. Women live longer than men. But I'm talking about just the fact that the psychology of humanity, the psychology is that humans are more ready for men to die. If you were to read in the newspaper that two men got shot and killed on the street corner, you wouldn't give a shit. If you were to read that two women got shot and killed, you'd be like, what? Who the fuck shot these two? Who shoots two chicks? That You'd care more. You care because male life is less significant than oh, female shit. life. That's the psycho the psychological thing that we've we've born and evolved into because men were dying all the time. We were dying at war, dying in fights, dying exploring, dying hunting. We've always done the most dangerous things. The so humans yeah. have evolved to the point where we decide that if a man dies, it's not nearly as tragic as if a female dies. That's just it. So female life overall, one for one, is more valuable. Um, than okay, I'm gonna be honest. I, I I I actually was kind of on. Uh, this is like one of the one of the things so far. You said that I I kind of disagree. To be honest, when I when I read about this shit, uh, I'm trying to be. I'm trying not to disagree on purpose. I'm trying to put myself in that scenario where I hear about somebody dying. Um, I don't really give a fuck who, who it is. I think, I guess for that topic only, of somebody somebody dying in the news, I think I have a pretty good one to one value. But um, what is it? I, uh, that's it. I have I have a built in one to one value when I hear somebody dying, and that's all. I, I don't know why. I don't. I, I just want to voice. It. I don't feel that way. That's all. That, that's fine. So let's look at the world. Agree with, I'm gonna have to agree with uh, Andrew, Andrew on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Felix, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Felix. He just, he just knows no, what he's doing. I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear. It. Tell us, tell us. It's just. Hey, like he just knows what the fuck he's talking about, bro. You don't, oh. you don't know. You don't know what the fuck you talking about, nigga. <laughs> fuck. Okay. He knows what the fuck he's talking about, bro. So let's, I agree let's, because he knows what he's talking about. Checkmate, yep. my brother. Checkmate. Let's look at. Checkmate. Let's look at the war in Ukraine. Why? Why have they sent all the women and children away? Huh, why, Felix? Have they, why have they left the men to die? And why have they sent the women and children away from the war in Ukraine? Uh, bro, that, that's, that's just how fucking things are. But that's answer just how the question, though. He's asking you a question. Could you answer it? But that's, saying well, that's I don't, just, I don't, I don't, I don't think you can. I know what the standards I mean, I, I think I think overall in the military, there's more men and, than, than women. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of physical standards, I suppose, where... Uh, about the military. Not about the military. We're talking about the civilian populations inside of a city. Why are they evacuating women and children from the civilian populations? And you said that's just the way things are. And the reason that's just the way things are is because we are prepared for men to die and we don't want women to die. Just like I said, we have a psychological aversion to female death. I that's think they're evacuating <clears throat> everybody. Okay, wow. I think they're evacuating God, that's everybody. Well, that, like, that's a real shit. I right? think they're evacuating everybody that <laughs> wants to be evacuated. But if you want to stay... I don't think they're evacuating you, right? Legal for any military-aged male to leave Ukraine. Any Ukrainian citizen, who, citizen who's a man who's military-aged male cannot leave Ukraine. You are stuck inside the country. Hold on, you hold stay. on. I gotta go. Uh, pee. Give me one I'm second. I'm learning. Go I ahead. didn't know that. Kai, just make sure that you know you you keep. Yeah, I'm. I'm make sure shit good over here. Yeah, just make sure you know he keeps talking yeah. and agreeing with him. Okay. okay. Yep. So basically, basically, I think I think we have to be careful when when diversity. Yeah, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. I don't appreciate Felix. How I go on your stream and you have you have three words on top of my head. It literally says literal paid actor. Let me ask this, Top G. Did you pay me to agree with you? No, I did not. No. First time we met. Why do you feel as if you should embarrass me in front of 86,000 of your viewers like that? I don't like that. I would never do that to you. And I feel like I deserve an apology right now. Uh, um, I don't think it's the right thing, but I, 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 I really Damn. hope that you really just just apologize right now because I feel like you're being extremely disrespectful, buddy. Okay. So, can you please? I don't think you're disrespectful, Kyle, but he dick riding you. I'm gonna be honest. Hey, hey, you're you're your dick. Out of your your dick. Out of all the niggas in this chat currently right now, you decided to be on my dick. Like, why you want my dick for? Like, why? Like, that's the, that's what I'm trying to ask you. I'm telling, I had some nice Dominican food today. I've had a great day, and I don't know why. I'm literally, you're literally one of my favorite streamers, and this is how you treat me, bro? Bro, isn't it? It's not, it's not about the things that you are. It's the, the things that, how you conduct yourself, I feel like. it. I feel like if you, uh, if you say shit like, oh, I agree with this, because this guy knows what he's talking about. I agree with that, because he's top G. I agree with this because of the preconceived ideas I have about this person. <laughs> you are almost automatically me a paid actor. So That's the box you fall into. Yeah, so shit? what you're telling me is that I am literally living rent free in your head. That's what you're telling me because it's like, it because it, it's like, bro, how can you treat me like this? Oh, because I want to 
agree with somebody else and I'm not agreeing with you, unfortunately, if you bring up some good points, as much good points as Top G, then yes, you'll get a fucking Kai, agree. Kai, okay? Kai, can I say something? You already won. He took it off the stream. You already won. Yeah, he took it off. Appreciate that. Appreciate yeah, that. Can I but, say one thing? But, Kai, wait, but, wait, 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 wait. X2. You, okay, no, all you got. Then okay. I'm, yeah, I'm if, he, if, he has, if he hasn't said anything yet, you agree with it, and you already pre agreed because he's him. <sighs> You're having a severe bias. It's going to so, unhealthy to the conversation. So what you're saying is my opinions matter less than yours. Not what is I that said. what you're saying? So you're saying mine don't matter as much as your opinions. As you see, I hope it's not coming out your mouth right now. I, they, I hope it's they, not. Your opinion matters matters as much as anybody else. If you come into discussion or in the middle of an argument, right, where you voice your argument or your response on what is currently happening and not what he's said in the past and what he is. Come in with the data that's presented, use that to make your argument and you show me that, then your argument is worth as much as anybody else in the room. So, so, you're so, you're saying, so you're saying I'm fucking stupid. That's what you're saying. That's what I fucking said, bitch ass. Wow! Yo! 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 See, honestly, honestly, I didn't want to do it, but BLM, bro. BLM, BLM, bro. Yeah. See? Feel like, yeah. I, bro, BLM, like, my like BLM, bro. Like, here's the thing. Here's the thing, bro. So, yes. who, who the fuck decided you made the rules? Like, are you calling yourself the leader of this podcast right now? Okay, okay. I'm not. I'm not the leader. You guys are the leader. Okay. What's um, what, what what's more important? You said what? BLM or women's rights? Wow, you're comparing black people to women. So you're just literally saying fuck black women as a whole. Okay, okay. okay. Answer the question. BLM. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Rights. I think both are important, my brother. Why are you trying to put one on top of the other? It's a question. It's a hypothetical. Well, it's gonna be one and why the other. are you comparing BLM, which stands for Blacks Lives Matter, to women's rights, which is also important? Why are you trying to you see this is what's wrong with our but if you had to pick one, though. Bro, you can't I'm pick not, one. You I'm can't not pick gonna one. pick one, bro. That is fuck for you to pick one, bro. Okay. What what do you think is more important? Uh, I'm asking the question. You have to pick one. What do yeah, you, you gotta think pick is one. more important, buddy? Since you want to bring it up, what do you think is for, you, you, like? What do you think is more important, buddy? Holy okay. shit! So basically, you had to, you had to pick one: BLM or women's rights. Who we who we talking to? Me? No, we're talking to. He's answering. We're talking to Excuse Excuse you. Excuse yeah. yeah. Be careful, guys. Guys, you guys just fucking chill out, man. It's no, question. answer. You gotta answer, answer the question. The question. Answer, answer the question. question. Answer the 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 Felix. Felix, answer the question. Oh, he's stuck now. Women's pick, rights or BLM? Pick, yeah. You have to pick one or the other. You know what we saying? Pick one, nigga. <laughs> BLM or women's rights? Pick one. It has to be one or the other. It can't be both. Okay, okay, pick my one. boy. Hold on, my boy. Who brought it up though? My boy. You brought it up. Oh, no, I'm just saying. You, you, have, you have to answer it. To, it, has, it has to be one or it has to be the other. Okay, here, and here's my answer. I don't feel like any should be chosen on top of each other, it's a, bro. It's a hypothetical, bro. Why did you bring it up? Bro, it's a fucking TikTok that, meme. It, it means it's a TikTok meme, bro. Oh. Nah, I think I, nah, he know he in trouble. <laughs> it's a TikTok meme. It is. It's a TikTok Jesus. meme. Jesus. Hold on. Yes, you got to take it. Take it. Big Daddy T A T to the E. I I, I was just listening to Suicide the Bathroom. I just wanted to say. Yo, Kai, you gotta listen to a song. It's called Suicide. It's so good. It's good? I, okay, oh I'll, I'll, go, I'll go. Oh, God, it's so good, bro. Okay. <laughs> what, what's the question? Go ahead, XQ. Uh, yep, yeah. BLM or women's rights. Answer it. We're not done. No, we're not done. Guys, let's not you on your ass, bro. Let's not, you All know. right. Well, both. Why you said it like that, though? What the fuck? Oof. I said all that. I said, I said, I said both. I'll, right. give another, I'll give another answer to try and elevate and progress the conversation. Okay. What? Every single movement on the planet, to some degree, has been corrupted by the people who are in charge of the world, which who are aiming to get more and more power from the populace. So let's look at the climate change movement, right? I'm not saying climate change isn't real. I'm not saying the climate isn't important. And I'm not saying the world is not important. Chaz, global I'm warming saying the real? people who are propagating the climate change agenda don't give a shit about the world. What they want to do is tax you all into bankruptcy so they can buy all the farmland and own all of it. That's what they're doing now in, in Holland. That's what they're doing now in Germany. It's happening in Europe. There's big protests because they're coming along saying, because of the climate, we're going to put your taxes up 300% because that's going to somehow prevent climate change. You're all going to go bankrupt and we're going to buy all the farms and we're going to own it all. So every single movement to some degree has been corrupted. And there is always, even though there's usually a 
genuine motive. There is usually a corrupted, a hidden motive in nearly every single movement on the planet. Even the woman's right motive, right? Let's look at, let's look at, you can even break this one down. The reason that the Matrix propagates so heavily the idea that females should have careers is because, one, it doubles the tax base. There's twice as many people to pay taxes. Two, when you had the traditional nuclear family, then the woman would raise the children. And if the woman raises the children, then the family's values and ideals will be instilled inside of the children. But you don't want that because you're a country. You want to own the future. You need to own the youth. How communism works. So what you want to do is send the women to work so the children spend all their time at school. And then you get to program their minds and you get to tell them what to think. Because that's what happens. You see it now. Parents arguing with their own children based on what the children learn at school compared to what their parents believe. Okay, bro, so now, I think that they're coming along trying to program everybody's children. And the reason they're trying to make sure women are not at home is because that makes it more difficult to do. Like now, I'm not saying, now, I'm not saying that's the only reason women's rights exist. I'm not saying that women's rights is a bad thing. I'm saying that every single movement has the genuine reason and there's hidden reasons behind all of it. Same thing with the climate change exchange. There's always something hidden inside of it. So it's always a Trojan horse. So it's very, very difficult to just say any movement in and of itself, no matter how good it sounds, is pure. To sit here and say, the green movement, who, who doesn't love the planet, right? What kind of psycho doesn't like the planet? Well, it's not about that. It's about the fact that the people who are propagating it actually have ulterior motives. So when you talk about movements as a whole. Wow. Okay. So what? Okay, okay. No, Kai, that's okay, some real okay, yeah, shit, yeah, 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 yeah. We, Okay, yeah, this is what I call something called, uh, wow. and most of the time, it's called a, a doomer mindset, right? So everything Doom. is, it's doomer. It's called doomer. It's doomer. It, this is legitimately what we call dooming. You're doom, you doomering. Where, okay. Oh, every good thing is flawed and corrupt to a certain degree. Oh. Everything, everything that, that is meant to be good is actually for bad. You named all the dog shit, but you failed to say or try to give us an alternative oh, or say how would Chow shit should work instead or give a, a, something else. Give, a, a, give it a, a flip side. I understand. I'm not a doomer at all. I'm saying... To be perspicacious as an individual, you need to pay attention that even even movements that are a positive thing with positive outcome and positive yes. intention, to that, some degree, are going to be corrupted with ulterior yes. motives. They're going to uh, sneak uh, something in. They always sneak something in. Otherwise, if they couldn't sneak something in which benefited them as a whole, they wouldn't even allow the movement to gain traction. Why yes. do some movements gain traction and some movements don't? Because mm. the matrix decides the matrix sits there and decides we want greta all over the news now because we want to talk about the climate and then what we want to do is put taxes up because of the climate at the yeah. same time at the same time when we're talking about sea levels rising we're gonna buy a bunch of mansions on the beach funnily enough okay and nobody's gonna give a shit because we know the sea level ain't gonna rise so there is always an ulterior motive and you have to see beyond this that most of the things that are propagated by the matrix are not propagated for the actual intention they do not give a shit about the planet what they give a shit about is more control over the populace and that's what they're doing now in europe if you could actually log out of a video game and look at right now the dutch farmers are taking all their all their tractors into the city and blocking the whole city because wow. they put taxes up to the point where all look at google it all the oh farms are going out of business Every farm is going out of business, and they're all going to be bought by an international conglomerate, and he's going to own all wow. of it. Who's the wow. knows who? They're going to own all the That's house. That's right. Up, dude. Okay, all, yeah, yeah. Pause, all, pause. All climate change, climate wow. change is new world order bullshit. And this is the thing. You have to understand that all of these movements are a psyop, because if they're not a psyop, they won't allow them to happen. It's all a fucking psyop. So you have it's dangerous to say this is a pure good movement, this is a bad movement, etc. It's all psyop on every level. It's 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 difficult. It's not an easy one. Okay, okay, wow. okay. In, in my opinion, the thing the thing that's kind of wrong with you. You said it earlier. It's a good word. Uh, should I, should I drink this? I think that's like your 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 narrative strategy that you do a lot, and it's kind of it's causing me to uh, severely lose brain cells. The problem is that you come in with an argument that makes sense in its format, right? Like the horse itself, it looks decent. And everybody, even myself, agree with the initial statement. Now you have a beautiful horse. It's not well carved. It's a beautiful thing. And then you load that motherfucker up with a bunch of fucking dog shit that nobody understands and the other people disagree with. But it doesn't matter anymore because they already bought into the horse, right? You're kind of trojaning your way into this argument, which I think is kind of crazy. Like, we, can't, we don't even have the time to say, hey, that's dog shit. We're already eight arguments past that point. All right, we got to get say, a lot. No, it's time to get past Don't say we. It's don't not. say we. Don't say we. I, I say that shit. Hold on. I say that shit. Hold on. Hold on. Next. All right. All right. All right. XQ, I want to go back to a topic and we never talked about this. And, and okay. I, Okay, no, 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 no. Felix. No, motherfucker, you're going to bring no, in some big ass topics. Motherfucker, it's, it's easy, a good easy. topic. Because I'm okay, going to tell you he, right now, we're going in circles. I don't want to do that. You don't want to do no, that either. No circling. I'm going to approach one of his, one of his ideas. I'm going to tackle him. Okay, first of all, first of all, first things first, okay, something that I learned in the past couple of years of, of wisdom, okay, 
Okay. Who the uh, fuck is that? Yeah. It's my brother, motherfucker. Okay, this I guy I would one tap you by breathing Dude, on you. He man. looks just like you, bro. He looks just like you. Wait, yeah, my brother's a fucking him? gladiator. He would fucking. Yo, why do you? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> what just happened? Why he just threatened us with his brother? What the fuck? Yo. yo. The fuck? What the he's fuck? A... He was dick riding his brother. He said his brother was a gladiator. He dick riding the fuck out that nigga. No, but, but what I want to say is, Andrew, you know in the Titanic, it's a real, it's a true story, and the men. Stayed on the boat, but the rafts, the women and the children, they they left the the, the boat. Correct. Yeah, yeah. I want to bring that up to him. Is yeah, he... correct. That's because that's back, what he's cause... back. He's back. He's back. So look, okay. Felix, What's real that? quick, bro, real quick. I don't know what, what happened. Going... Thank you. What my discovery set? Have you ever heard about um the Titanic story? Um, I think the Titanic is a lot of fun. It's a good movie. Uh, I don't give no, a shit. It's a real. Titanic. No, I it's don't a... give a fuck about it. Dude, innocent lives were lost. Bro, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious, dude? Like, fuck the Titanic. Right I don't now, give a shit. Come on, I innocent lives are lost. Really? really, bro? What? It's a movie. It's a book. It's it's no, a real life it's event. A real... It's 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 a real event, bro. Yeah, yeah it, all, it it is also a book and uh, a movie. I'm just saying. Yeah, and it's also a real life. Yes. So what's the point about it? I don't. I don't say. I, I said I don't care about it. What I remember that is that is that, is that I, I don't I don't care I don't care about the intricacies or some bullshit you're gonna tell me about it. What's what about it? What about it? I get what you're saying. Point is this: so it's a boat and an iceberg. Exactly. Thank you. So the boat crashed, the iceberg sinking, sinking. Right. So what they did is is is, is they took they had rafts to, to basically save people. Do you know who they yes. put on the rafts? Uh, humans. Yes. Humans. Like, is this is this the arc of Noe? Fucking paraphrasing. Is that some some what is this? Okay, so on the rafts, they put children and women on the rafts. Okay. No, I'm just letting you know. I wanted to know what you had to think about that. Yeah, he's just telling you. He's just telling you. Well, well, well I'm sure they, they, have, they have to row the fucking things. They, so there, there was probably some men who were strong enough, okay, to, uh, to, to row the fucking things, right? They probably just weren't boats that just had motors. They, they, I don't think they had that at the time. Men, men weren't allowed to get on and, and men didn't want to get on because men understood back then, especially because they could have rushed it and forced themselves on. But men had too much honor and they understood that as women and children first. They, they wow, 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 wow. But, but they had some people on them that would row the boats, no? Wow. There might have been the odd man on a couple lifeboats. That's not the point we're making. The point we're making is that men stayed on the boat to die and they sent their women and their children. They sent their wives and their daughters and their sons. They sent the women and the children onto the boat and the men stayed to die because they understood if someone has to die, it should be the men. Wow. That's, okay. That's deep, Kai. Where, where are we going? Where are we going? How does this relate to the world order of like the, the okay. crazy that's, conspiracy theories? That's, that's the point we were making earlier about male life. So as for my crazy conspiracy theories and you saying it doesn't make sense in my Trojan horse analogy, we're, I'm um, making it very clear. They come along with, with climate change. They talk about climate change, but their intention is not to prevent climate change. Their intention is to raise taxes and gain control of okay. all the – Great control of all the farmland in this case, but usually it's going to be it's going to be a lot more than that in the future. Yeah, yeah. In, in tough times, there is a a sacrifice hierarchy, right? Where where if somebody needs to jump through the window, okay, you don't ask the fucking child to come and lift the guy up to the window to save him, okay? They 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 fucking launch people into the window and they help him out, okay? That's okay. that's the, that is a survival hierarchy. I'm okay with that. I don't think it's a problem because this needs to be a a, a black a black and white thing, right? Like there will be a certain layer, mm -hmm. and yeah, I guess the men are the one at the, at the at the bottom that are going to help upwards. This is hierarchy. I get it, but what I'm saying, what I'm telling you, is it something that I learned? Okay, over the years, the past couple of years of, of being more, I guess, aware of the, my of my surroundings, especially in coming to call politics and shit like that. Okay, is that is that one part of something being flawed, partaking in dog shit sometimes is a needed sacrifice just like being a man and helping people get on the boat is a sacrifice that has to be made in order to get to the good correct thing that you indeed support in your heart just like for example charity i understand that there are overly highly paid ceos that they had a big if not most if not all charities out there and and while you while you fund certain certain small parts of greed or or mismanagement of funds or mar or marketing whatever the fuck, you are still donating to good. Or otherwise you're gonna be like, I will never donate because this guy makes so much money on, on the on the fucking charity uh, uh, hierarchy. Oh, this guy makes so much money, so I'm not gonna donate. Then we don't get anywhere, right? There has to be some sort of sacrifice that is a ratio that you're okay with as a person 
with what the goal is in mind. No? I but Bro, I understand the point. Yeah, I, 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 you lost the game. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I, know. I think what he's trying to say is that even if I'm telling the truth, even if yeah. the climate, even if the climate change agenda does have a hidden narrative in which you're trying to raise taxes and bankrupt people so they can buy all the farmland, that you should accept it because sometimes when you're doing something good, there's always something slightly bad which is associated, which is his point. But he's incorrect, and the reason he's incorrect. Bitch, is no, sorry. Go ahead. Hold on, man. Don't call what? me bitch. Oh. Cut, don't cut him off. He let you talk the whole time, bro. Uh, yeah, you're right. 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 It's top, it's top top G. G. Come on, bro. Top Love the crafted again, by the way. Guys, guys, guys because my argument is good, that's coming up right now. It's very boring, so I try to spice it up with some insults. So we keep the content going, and then so I can go to the more boring shit. So Thank just you, keep, yeah. keep going. All right, yeah, we'll just keep it going, but just don't disrespect Top G like that. Thank you. Just don't yeah. call him a bitch. That's all I ask. Sorry. I, I, yeah. No, I it's all good. You guys. I, I, you apologize. I, 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 I I, I love, love both of you guys. I, th okay. I take it back. Apologies, sense. You're good. You're good. I love, I love both of you guys. I just want to hear you guys talk. Yeah, we love nope. it. We love it. The, the reason that you're incorrect on that is because the point I'm trying to make is Hold that on. Can only... I say one thing? Hold on. Los Polos. Oh, I'm my a very God. big friend, fan of your dad, bro. I've been watching, bro. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Yo! No, I love. No, no, no. Real shit, bro. Yo. I love you, bro. Like, you don't understand. I, you're one of the only people I really like. Who is this? Who is this talking? That's my guy, Aiden. That's Aiden. Oh, that's Aiden? Oh. Yeah, that's Aiden. What? I, I didn't know who it was. I, didn't, I can't. Oh. I, I didn't. Papa! Yo, Papa fucking loose, man. Big man. No, love the content, don't steal this shit right now. Don't do that. Yo, love oh, the content, bro. Him. Love the fucking content, man. Oh, my fucking God. Um, But Papa Los, we were... Hey, Los, by the way. Wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Everyone's... I've just... I'm brand new to this shit. Everyone's streaming this same stream on their own stream. Yeah, pretty much, yes. Not how do I own how do I put it on my one? We don't want you to. We're stealing the viewers, basically, because if you were streaming, no, no. you'd take our viewers. No, no, no. We're going to get him right. We got to get you right yeah, on this shit, bro. I'm not going to lie. And Aiden, and, 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 and Aiden, I'm going to have disappoint you because you were supposed to bend this from the jump. I know, I know. Come on, bro. I know. I'm not going to lie. I just got so, like, I want, I love the views, Ty. I loved it. I love them, so. And and that's fucking terrible. He's I your know. friend. You call me a fucking friend and you want to steal the fucking views? I know. Yeah, yo. Hey, yo, Felix. Felix, relax. We're talking. For those Yo. who aren't aware of who's Lois is, oh, Lois, can you introduce yourself so everybody knows so we were on the table? Oh, yeah, 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 correct. Oh, we, we, all, we, all, we, all, we all know who, who Lois is. Who is Lois? Lois, tell us who you are, man. Uh, hey, what's, hey, chat, what's going on? I don't know. We're like, we're, no, what's fucking <laughs> problem? What are you talking about? We, we, yeah, she said, very we mad. were, all just, we were yeah. just talking two days ago. <laughs> Have you, I, I don't know, I don't know. Lois fucking Paul, Lois, nigga. Uh, I don't know, like, I don't know. Hey, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was called. What, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, wait, uh, Mr. Tate, my dad is a huge fan, by the way. Oh, awesome. Tell him nice, I said hello. He nice can to hear you. Hey, hey, how nice you doing, you. bro? Nice to meet you. See, pleasure. it's always pleasure it's always it's always the guys who've lived a bit of life and been around for long enough to understand I'm telling. You, you know, that's that's what it is. It's it's I only the this. it's only the, the, young, the if anyone disagrees with me, they're usually just inexperienced. You'll you'll learn in the end. It is true. I'm not gonna lie. Top fucking G. Go ahead, what were you gonna say, Act 2? Uh, I'm not, I mean, I was trying to get an introduction, but overall, um, I think I think if you think about something like climate change, what I think is, believe is, I believe is real, right? If you do certain maneuvers, they end up fueling dog shit, okay, in some parts, I, I'm sorry to say, sometimes I feel like the ends justify the means, where like, uh, uh, you, if you believing and parting to this narrative that climate change is real, right? If, if the end goal is that we saved the planet somehow and there's a few things that change in a negative way, well, so fucking be it. I think that's better, right, than being all in our, in our little bubble, feeling happy, not fueling dog shit, and then disappearing or dying as a species because we fucked our, our entire planet. I think okay. that's the essence of my argument or my mindset. Okay. I understand, but it's still it's overly optimistic because you're assuming that it's going to result in saving the planet, and you're also assuming that the people who are propagating these ideas have the intention of saving the planet. And what I'm saying is that people come along. What you have to understand is every single government on the face of the planet is trying to gain more and more control. They want to be totalitarianistic. That's what they want. The only reason they don't is because the people will not accept it. It comes along. It comes to a point where there's people who will revolt. So they need an excuse to get away with certain things, right? I, I know we're not allowed to talk about it on the stream, but in the last three years, they had an excuse, which they invented, which allowed them to do things that were unprecedented and never did them before. And what I'm saying to you is that they will come along and talk about climate change. They will say yeah, that sea levels about? are going to rise and that we're all going to die. Well, I mean, they are rising. I mean, quite okay. literally. Yeah, cool. Uh, you say they're rising. That's fine. The sea levels are going to rise. 
At the same time, they will buy beachfront mansions. Oh, COVID. I'm so sorry. It's been reason. three years already? They buy beachfront mansions all over the globe. Wow. doesn't seem to bother them. If sea levels are rising, the first ones are going to go, but that's, that's what they crazy, buy. That's crazy, bro. And then they come along and say, you can't fly anymore. We have to put up the price of flights, and you have to pay more taxes, and we have to add more tax to your fuel. Well, they continue to fly around on private jets doing whatever they want. And you're saying that it's going to result in them saving the planet. And I'm saying no. It's an excuse and a smokescreen that they allow the media machine to propagate so that they have an excuse to get away with things that they wouldn't be allowed to get away with any other way. They have to scare you to take things from you. And they'll scare you with something. So they'll scare you the planet's going to die, and then they'll take your money away, and they'll take your freedom away. Just like it's, it's the oldest trick in the book. They find a way to scare you. They find some kind of big event, some enemy, and they find a solution. Don't worry. The common cold's going to kill you now, we've decided. But if you stay in your house and you lose your business, then you'll be okay. It's bullshit. Mm. There's always an ulterior motive. Because if there wasn't an ulterior motive, they wouldn't do it at all. The government doesn't actually, on any level, give a shit about anything else besides control. If you think there are people inside of any government on the planet who actually sit there and genuinely give a fuck about what's going to happen to the earth in 100 years, you are I, wrong. Okay, they don't I mean, care. don't children me. Uh, already, I, I mean, you're children horsing. I feel like this is another one of my great political takes. I'm such a political person. I, I think... Um, um, Government sometimes in some areas um, they they want and kind of need control because they kind of know better sometimes um, especially when it comes down to like health and whatnot right if people me if, if if forcing vaccines or whatever keeps people alive in some way I I feel like I mean they they should uh, exert their control that they have or whatnot in the, what, some ways right well, so hold on hold on wait, 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 I just want to say so you're basically saying if the vaccine's proven to basically save lives that we should be forced to take it is, is that what you're saying um in some capacities to partake in in, in most things I don't yeah, understand I, those I, words just yes or no I mean you can't ask a yes or no interrupted question it doesn't make sense I'm asking well, I'll tell you, you. All right, I'll tell ahead. you why go ahead Andrew go I'll ahead sorry Andrew I didn't mean to interrupt you go ahead no it's fine no it's fine I'll tell you why you're absolutely not really wrong because you're still operating inside the paradigm. Oh. You're saying words that you don't understand don't mean anything. So you're saying, if the government have proof that something works, well, the government make the proof, right? Did the government decides yeah. what the proof is. So stage one is the proof is bullshit. Whatever they want it to say, it's going to say. That's the so you're saying thing. that, you're saying that, um, whatever you're saying is that if we didn't have those controls and those big grip and those claws in our fucking skin by the government, <laughs> Right, we, and people didn't get vaccinated for most things, and we wouldn't have. So you're saying what, if we still wouldn't have like polio and shit, like we wouldn't have like all, I'm not all saying these diseases wouldn't come back, right? They wouldn't come I'm back because it's science, and you don't believe in that, do you? I'm not saying that, and I'm not saying I'm I'm particularly anti-vaccine. The point I'm making is that I do not want anarchy. Obviously, yeah, who's must have some I'm vaccinated. Control. I got the what I'm saying to you is that a government could come along, print any piece of paper they want, call it, it a scientific study, and use Ooh. it as an to do whatever they decide and mm. for you to sit here and say well i have enough faith in them and they know exactly what they're doing all the time you're going to end up regretting that because they come along they print a piece of paper they say follow the science follow the science follow the science they then have an ulterior motive which they inflict upon the populist mm. with some excuse and the last few years has proven all of this because because where where's the threat now right threat gone i don't know why i can hear my echo can anyone else hear my echo yeah, it's, it's it's low so he's on speakerphone bro no way i think it's kai <laughs> It might be me, my fault. This AP is loud as fuck. It might be Kai. Okay, but, okay. okay. Is it now? We good? Uh, when you sit and just, say that it should be mandated, I want you to understand that that is actually a very, very dangerous mindset. No, can, no it's okay. And the reason dangerous. that it's a well, dangerous mindset because you are saying that people now belong to the government the same way a cow belongs to a farmer. You're saying that you no longer have any sovereignty over your own blood. You no longer have any sovereignty over your own body. And if the government, with their printed piece of paper, decide hey. that better for your blood to contain a chemical Andrew. that you don't want it to contain and you must accept it andrew andrew um okay so if you don't want to put it into society and stay at home and you want your blood to remain a certain way I, the government doesn't give a fuck about that i'm pretty sure i could be wrong about that they don't give a fuck the the minute the minute where your freedom impedes on somebody else's freedom the minute where your blood being a certain way can impact directly not indirectly directly somebody else that harms them then your argument falls apart immediately. It's a black and white thing where the second that you cross that line, your argument disappears entirely. Okay, if so you the, way, have, the way that works, if I if I go outside with my blood a certain way and I cough on somebody and they get sick and they die, that's directly because of me, right? Then what does it say about that then? What happens then? 
Right. Well, a lot of times, you, you say, well, I mean, I want to have my blood certain way. Yeah, but that other person, they want to have their blood the way you you want it, and you just fuck them over. So how, how is that fair for them? They want their well, blood certain way, and you altered theirs because of your dog shit. How is that fair for them? Well, once again, you're wrong, and I'll tell you why. Okay. I understand, I understand your argument, but I'll tell you why you're wrong. Firstly, because we're talking about vaccines specifically, let's stick to vaccines. If you have the vaccine and it mm -hmm. works, then you haven't got to worry about who has it and who hasn't got it. Right. If you have the vaccine and you're still concerned about other people not having it, then it's not a very good vaccine, is it? What? So that's that's that, that is not how that works. That is not how that works. That is not I'm how sorry. that Can works. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? I'm Look sorry. up in something called the herd immunity. It's like the, the, the core concept of a vaccine. Wait, could you it's just a simple fucking that? thing. Please. I'm sure. Sorry. Sure. Excuse's argument was that if my freedom impedes on the life of other people, then I shouldn't be allowed to have the freedom. And his argument was that if I don't get the vaccine and I cough on someone and make them sick, then I am responsible for that. And that's why I shouldn't be allowed outside. And I replied saying no because it is my choice if I want to be sick by this disease. And if anybody wants to get the vaccine, they can get it. If they have the vaccine, then I can't make them sick unless the vaccine is ineffective. So what I'm saying is- Ineffective, I'm the bro. Listen, Listen, please wait. understand the logic. Please understand the logic. You're saying that I need a vaccine to protect vaccinated people. That doesn't make sense. If they are vaccinated, they're protected by the vaccine. It doesn't matter if I'm vaccinated or not, unless the vaccine is ineffective, in which case I do not need the vaccine. They they can still get sick, though. They can still get sick. What kind of logic is that? We're talking, about a We're talking about vaccine for a specific thing. That's the first thing. Second thing, the idea that sovereignty can be absolutely not really destroyed by a government because they can print a piece of paper that says certain things is a dangerous idea. And I know for COVID or whatever, it seemed to make a lot of sense to people who couldn't think outside of it. But it's a very dangerous idea to come along and say the government owns you. They decide what's in your blood. They decide where you go. They decide when you're allowed out your house. They decide when you sleep. They decide what, how, if you're allowed to make money or not, who you talk to, whether you cover your face or not. If you see your own parents dying in hospital, they control all of that. And it's for yeah, your sake. Can I ask you? Can I? Okay, okay. Can I ask you a real quick question? The um, science doesn't agree with you. I don't think. Real quick, real quick. Um, what? So, no, I just got to text from somebody. I mean, I just want to hear what you have to say about XQ. Someone said, bring up Aiden that people are still getting sick with the vaccine. So what? No, no, I, I, I didn't say that. I, he said that. I got a, I got a quick question. Yeah. So quick what? One. I got a quick one. I got a quick one. Are we going to talk about anything like interesting at all? Because I don't know what the <laughs> hell this is. <laughs> this is could be the most boring thing I've ever heard on Twitch, period. I, I Kai, mean, look, how, look at Kai. Look how bored I, Kai is. I, I, know, I was thinking that. Bro. I was thinking that. Look at I, I, I like, what? like at this bro. point, bro. I'm trying to. I, I want to talk about some freaky shit, yeah, like can sex. We? Shit. You know what I mean? We're like, 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 I'm getting sturdy. Like, you know, time to, can you get fucking sturdy, nigga? Y'all like motherfuckers that. are so shameless. You know what I like, what I like about you guys? You guys, is that you like to start with a topic that's actually terrible. Then you have a damaging, a harmful take to society. And whenever we somebody, a counter argument comes in to make sense, it's X move on, boring. Oh, what are you talking about, bro? SQC, you will ride the lesson. SQC, on, bro. get started, bro. XQ, man, shut your bitch ass up. Damn. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Thank you, Kai. I, I, I couldn't say that word. <laughs> Hey. Wait, all all I was saying was that it's Twitch. We're sw like trying to enter should entertain, not like be like social justice people. Bro, like, thank, thank, thank you, bro. Like, like saying, bro. Okay. Like, bro, it is summer. Like yo, 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 it is summertime, bro. Like the kids and the people of the of the world want to see fun entertainment shit. We're not trying to talk about you know. Then don't say shit, it, bro. Then don't come here saying climate change isn't real. Don't get back. To I'd rather see you get sturdy. Like I want to see you get sturdy so fucking bad. Yes, 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 yes. Damn, 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 damn. damn, 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 damn. I fucking love it. Hey, hey, Andrew, can you please get sturdy, bro? Please, bro. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't have the bro. moves. Like Whoa, Andrew! Andrew, is that a knife? Knife, bro. Fuck. Andrew, I don't. I don't fuck with knives, bro. You know I've been stabbed by a knife before, right? In my sleep. No, that sounds fun. This is a fun topic. Who stabbed you? Did you deserve it? No, I didn't deserve it. It was my. It was my uncle. He was like really drunk and on drugs, and he just came in and just stabbed me real quick. That's not. Oh, what the? Fuck? Thank you. <laughs> Los, oh, thanks. Wait, wait, Papa Los, that's funny. It's hysterical, man. <laughs> Absolutely hysterical. No, real you shit. Should, you you should be telling that story all the time. That's interesting. That makes you an interesting guy. You should be telling stories like that. Dude, when we talk about experiences we had, and I tell stories all the time, that's interesting shit. People want to hear that. It's just my take. Like I I I look at you a little differently now. I think that's kind of interesting. Let me let me see the scar. Yeah, hold on. 
they make fun of me whenever I go like, don't go live. So like, like, so like, 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 Yo, what do you stab you? What do you stab you with a number, a number two pencil? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? No. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a gaping wound. That's a fact. What you get? What is that? A thumbtack? Get the fuck out of here! Yo. I, thought be, I thought it was gonna be like a chest wound. What are you? Sh- <laughs> what the hell? Never put your arm down. You're embarrassing yourself. Come By on. the way, cover your arm too. Cover your arm. Mm, cover that right. arm. I don't want. I don't want to see that arm. Cover it. All right, all right. Anyway, <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> now, all you know right. what I just, you know what I just realized? You know, I just realized what? when we came in, we're, we're at a different angle. You see the angle we're at? Oh, you no, know, no, no. That's just on Discord. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's inverted. No. Like, my door's really on my right, but it's on my left. Like, you no. know, it's kind of confusing. No, I have a tremendous profile. That's why I just realized that. It's tremendous. Yeah, but anyways, um, Andrew, have you ever been stabbed before? <laughs> Man, your scar is hard to beat, bro. I think you, 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 you take the title. You take the title. Hard to beat. What the fuck? His laugh is like yeah. Los's laugh, but like old. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, XQ, you've been quiet for like three minutes now. It's a, it's a world record. What's going on? What are you smoking. sucking on? I'm smoking, bro. <laughs> Andrew, what's the difference between a cigar and a cigarette? Dude, that's not good for society. It's not good for your viewers, bro. The little kids. It's not, it's not, it's not good, bro. It's terrible. You shouldn't promote smoking, dude. You're right. You shouldn't. I still do it, so what? I guess somebody, you disagree with them? I agree with them. Different of opinion. I don't give a fuck. What? Hey, I, I want to huh? try. Hey, hey, to- hey, relax, bro. It's possible right there, bro. He'll beat, he'll beat your ass, nigga. I want to ask, Andrew, I want to ask you a question. Sure. So, so w- with the... um. So, I know you've been popping up in a lot of different places. So, what 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 kind of started it? What, you know, showing up on streams, and I I saw you on a lot of you know podcasts, and um, I know your content was all over. But it seems lately that you're doing a lot of this. Is, is, what 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 prompted it? What started this? Bikes and yes. fucking book sales. Yeah, I, I had podcast. Not funny. Not funny. Was, Come on, XQ. Don't don't. Oh, he's top. Why you think about it? Yeah. Why you think about it? He's top. Yo. Yo, why you dick bottom, bro? Can't hear. Uh, sorry, Papa Los. Uh, Andrew, well, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, go ahead, Andrew. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's fine, man. I was around for a while. I, I had a. Well, I know. A, I know. Yeah. And that kind of thing. And then I really blew up on TikTok. Talk, TikTok was the one where I think I first started really blowing up. And uh, people found my old content and chopped it up and put it all over TikTok. And then I got all over TikTok and it kind of expanded from there. And I, I, I'm i new to Twitch. This is my first week in Twitch. Aiden Aiden reached out to me and said, Look, yeah, I did. So, yeah. so Papa Los, I basically paid him $600,000 to get on my stream. He did it. And we've just been friends ever since. <laughs> yeah, fun. yeah, 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 yeah. So fun. Are you- I'm going, to, you- I'm, going, I'm going to Romania in, in, in like, I think a week and a half, Andrew. And then, uh, I'm going to stay with him and he's going to train me to be my life coach. I'm paying him a million dollars. Where are you? Let's, let's, we do this in person. Come here. We've got the studio. Right. I can stream crawl. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, but I am letting you Aiden, can I come with you, Aiden? Do, yo, Kai, you want to split it? It's, listen, I only need 500 bands from you, okay? And he could just be our life coach. And it will change our lives forever, I swear. It, it, it's okay. I'll just watch it stream from home. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Wait, <laughs> can, we do a, can we do a two for one deal? If I get you another uh, student... Do um can it be Oh cheaper? yeah. And then and then you get a cut out of the, out of their entry cost. And then if they get one too, <laughs> they they get a cut out of that guy too. And you get a cut out of that. No, I wasn't talking about that. Bro. And then no. it goes down below and it makes like a nice shape. I like that. If you bring XQC, then I'll train you both for free. Oh shit. Oh my god. XQ. Oh, don't sell the shit. fucking bag. Let's go to Romania for a little bit, bro. It'll be fun. Me and you can get content. We'll content with Andrew. He'll change our lives. He'll make us. We're not gonna be soft pussies anymore, bro. We're gonna be hard. It'll be. It'll, it's worth it. Come on, bro. Please. Uh, I love Romania. Am I actually gonna get a? Am I gonna get a job out of that? Like a real job? You need. Is that what the, that, that the training's about? Bro, we both need to know what it's like to suffer, bro. And be honest, bro. We have to. Mm, well, what if we get stuck there? We can't go back home. He said we could use his PJ. What? Exactly. We could use his PJ. What if you get stuck there? We won't. He's a Why would you get stuck? How would you get stuck here? I know. Fucking, I don't know. So so, kidnap you. No, no. Like, um, what if, what if you just can't come back home? Am I gonna live there forever? No. What? Yeah. Sure. I mean, on what and paradigm? Look, come back home? And look, you guys, tra- you guys get trained by him, and you guys teach him everything about Twitch that he needs to know. Oh, I tell Yo, Kai, I thought they meant train like we had fucked. No, 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 bro. You have such, you have such an immature <laughs> mindset right now, bro. You, come on, bro. No, 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 no way. I, I, I'm not the only one who thought that. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. Go ahead, though. Bro, look, bro, look. You got to teach him how to, like, get on his Twitch shit. You feel what I'm saying? Get him an account. Get him streaming for real, bro, because this is what people want to see. 
Yeah, but Andrew, I just don't want you getting banned on Twitch. Oh, I mean, that's not gonna last long. I think you're getting banned because of what he's saying, so I don't know if he's gonna be able hey, to- Hey, really? You're wishing, now you're wishing we get banned? Really, bro? Well, misinformation is one of the biggest things that they're doing nowadays, and I think we've had enough today that you'll probably get banned tomorrow, to be honest. Then you're gonna get banned too, buddy! This is the content that you have on your shit too! We're no, all done, with the, new, with, with the new TOS, uh, you get banned, not me. This the is fuck? Your shit. This is your shit too! It's broadcasted oh. on your stream too. We all get banned. Lowe's too. We're all banned. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Only the perpetrator gets banned. <laughs> Right, so before I go, because I because I'm gonna become a, a Twitcher now, I wanna know what's the hardest video game, because I'm gonna get really good at it. And be um it. I got it. Dark Souls. It. Ew, no. Um RuneScape, old school RuneScape. I play that game, we can play it together. It's fun. That's the hardest video game. I used to beat my brother up for playing RuneScape. Wait, your brother plays RuneScape? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about when we were like 15, so this was <laughs> oh, years ago. Oh. I used to come home from school and if I caught him on RuneScape, it was hands on it was on I'll site. tell you what, I'll tell you what, if you could beat the game called if you could, <laughs> If you could beat the game called Elden Ring, that no no. If you can if you can get and beat the first boss of I want to be the Boshi, okay, I'll give you a hundred bands. But I even think about it, you get it instantly. All right, cool. So what? I need a PC, right? I buy some PC and I play these games and I become the yeah, best. I don't then, even know what the fuck that is, bro. To be honest, XQ. But I'm a famous Twitcher and then I make a load of money on Twitch. Is that all I have to do? Just beat some video games. Easy, easy peasy. Yeah, I played easy. Mario Kart. I played Mario Kart like loads. It's fine. I've got it. It's Mario Kart's insane. It's under control. It's a good game. All right, gentlemen, yeah. I will go because it's 7.35 in the morning. I'm All right, Andrew, Andrew, home. let's tax a little bit before you go to sleep. Sure, man. Sure. That's cute. Uh, hey, no, no, hey, 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 before you leave, how about you run us through what you're going to do today? Hey, give us a rundown of, your, of a day in, in, uh, in Andrew's fucking grandiose uh, awakening. Um, it's 7.30. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to be up at 10. 10.30, I'm going to go and get a haircut. I don't feel like driving, so. Wait, oh. <laughs> I'll haircut? be good. Haircut, correct. <laughs> 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 There's hair there, and it has to go. I need to be more bald. So um, I, I get a haircut around 10.30. I'll have lunch, and then I'll uh, probably have some work to do. Then I have to pack because I'm going to – I'm flying you told me to – the boat, the boat trip? I've got, yeah, I'm doing a boat trip tomorrow. Hey, I've, hey, can I ask you this? What wakes up in the morning? Because I be having trouble, like, waking up in the morning. Like, what oh, God, like getting out of bed, Kai. Yeah, bro. What does it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how you <laughs> I, I, oh I, have, I have a permanent <laughs> nag of, of responsibility. I don't know how you don't have that. Like if I, I can't just lay in bed. I don't know how nah, you manage. It's cut, it's a, I think it's just a tired thing. Like, bro, I'll be on these streams long as fuck, bro. And after I go to sleep and I wake up at like 3 p.m., which is horrible, bro. It's fucking terrible. And I repeat that cycle all over and over again. It's fucking terrible, bro. Yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. But I, I don't know. I have a nagging responsibility in my mind. As soon as I'm half awake, I feel like I need to do things, and I just, I just get up. That's just part of part of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. shit. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe streaming is gonna ruin me along with everybody else. I'm new to it. Yeah, Pop, Pop, but, um, how old are you? Thanks for coming on, man. Also, also, I, I want to say, even though I don't, I disagree with you on uh, on, the, on a lot of points. I'm glad we're not at your throat um, for no reason. Thank you. Exactly. It looks good. I'm making friends online now. Everything's good. I'm about to choose my bitches. I'm taking to the boat. Everything's fine. Life's good. Get a haircut. That's going to be my plan for tomorrow. So, Aiden, if I'm replying slow, I've got the boat. I've got to bring some girls. I know, I they know, don't I know. know. Just send me videos yeah. and shit. Send me videos, though. They don't know which one's coming yet. They're all going to meet on the boat, start crying, but they're on a boat. What are they going to do? Swim? Fuck you. So, we're going to put them all on there, film it all for YouTube, see, see who's fighting. It's going to be funny. All right, hey Andrew, I hope you having a fantastic uh, trip. Uh, when you're back, let me know, and uh, we'll figure some sh some shit out. Just text me, you know. We'll text. We talk. We talk every day. Just just figure it out. Figure it out. Cool. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I love him, bro. I love him with all my heart. How could you not smile, XQ? He's great. 